simple movements, but again, just activating the muscles before heading out on your run. Good morning, good morning. Here we go, a little five minute warm up routine. Now I know I've talked about warming up in the past, but I don't know if I've actually, I was going through the archive, I don't know if I've actually made one vlog all about warming up for running, but I realized you're busy, you've got a lot going on. Sometimes you just gotta sprint out the door and get 20 minutes in on your lunch break, okay? Also, what hit me this morning as I was preparing is a lot of us are working from home these days. So you can be sitting around at your desk a lot. And so one little tip I have, if you can squeeze in like two to three, maybe five minutes of just walking around your house, getting those legs moving a little bit after sitting at your desk for you know hours and hours, uh, that helps a lot to do these warm-ups. All right, we've got donkey. Oh yeah, by the way, you could do warm-ups for an hour, but no, no one has an hour, okay? So I picked my top five favorite uh, activities, movements that I do to warm up my legs before going out on a run, all right? And yes, question of the day. What do you do for your warm up? all right? Before you go out into the cold or the heat, and I will just make one adage here. I will make this same vlog again in the summertime when I'm outside at a soccer field, football field, Right now, at least where I live, it's freezing out, especially today. So this is designed for you in your dorm room, at your house, uh, at your office, inside. If I was outside, I would mix in a few other movements uh, to warm up before running. Also, I'm under the assumption that you don't own a pad, all right? So we're getting rid of it. You don't own a treadmill, okay? So we're not gonna use the treadmill. You don't own a foam roller, all right? If you wanna pick these things up, I've made vlogs about how I use these tools uh, for my warming up and my recovery, but I'm under the assumption that you don't own anything, not even a band, okay? It's nice, and these are you know not too expensive, but that's my assumption right now is that you don't have any of those tools. All right, I've got a stopwatch here. Let's see if we can get this done in five minutes, all right? Simple, simple movements, but again, just activating the muscles before heading out on your run. First up, oh yeah, I also kick off my shoes before I do this, all right, here we go. Oh, there it is, let me just move that over there. Donkey kicks and go, okay? Just on your all fours, all right? Hands on the ground, knees on the ground, and donkey kicks. Just starting nice and slow. I do like to speed up a little bit as I move through. So I'll do 30 seconds on the right leg. Let me just make sure I'm in the, in the shot here. 30 seconds in the right leg, and then 30 seconds on the left leg, okay? Activating the, the hip flexor, the glute, really a lot. The, even the, uh, the quad, the lower quad, okay? And you wanna make sure that leg extends um, all the way out, all right? So slower actually the better at the beginning, all right? So then switch to the other leg, to your left leg. And again, my left leg is not as coordinated. That's okay, and if you can keep your back, like you don't want it to be rounded, you wanna try and keep your back as straight as possible, all right? So donkey kicks, just straight back, straight back, straight back, all right? I can tell I'm a little tight right now, but we're gonna get loosened up here, all right? So that's donkey kicks. Next up are mountain climbers, my favorite, all right? Kind of in the push-up position, all right? At first, ooh, it feels so good. And then you kind of bring your legs a little bit closer to your torso, and then just boom, just flex. All right, it's my, you might need to take your socks off. I'm slipping a little bit, but basically you're just making this mountain climbing motion. This is stretching out, active stretching for the uh, soleus, the calf, the lower calf. And you might need to do this for 30 seconds the first time. I can do it for a minute, uh, but if you can't get up to a minute, that's okay. Because you do have to hold kind of a, a push-up position for a minute. All right, so just back and forth, right leg, left leg, right leg left leg and again it might help to take those socks off or if you have um a pad that you know that could work too all right so there you go just mountain climbers and then you can get a little more a little more speed toward the end i like to do that oh man that's this is my favorite one actually right here is mountain climbers all right next up single leg bridge okay so just on your back okay uh both legs up like this what is this is making a, a peak with your with your knee and then one leg extended, I'll extend my right leg first, then lift your hips up, 
Okay, up, that's the key. Boom, all right. And then I, you can put your arms out. I like to keep my arms on my chest just to activate my core a little bit more. And then up and down with the left leg, okay? So single leg bridge, 30 seconds each side. Okay, single leg bridge, all right. And slower the better. And you do, you know, as you get better, your hips will rise up higher, okay? I'm just gonna switch to this side just so you can see it. All right, leg extended, okay? And this is really, really activating a lot. Uh, all in that hip area, oh, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Also injury prevention, okay? So single leg bridge. And there's variations on how you can do this right there. And again, you might need to start with you know, 15 seconds each leg rather than 30, okay? Moving on now, leg swings. All right, I'm a little behind here. Leg swings, just the classic straightforward leg swings. Nothing too fancy. Ooh, see, I'm tight. I'm famous. We distance runners are famous for tight hamstrings. So I can tell I'm a little, I'm at high volume right now. Depending on when you're watching this, I'm training for the Rotterdam Marathon. So my legs are a little tight. So, so go easy. Don't feel like you need to bring your leg up. You know, we don't want to pull a hamstring, okay? And then switch to the other side. Ooh, yeah, that left side has been tight actually for about two or three weeks. So I need to work on that. Ooh. All right, so this is one I, I got to pay more attention to tomorrow. All right, so those are leg swings, nice and simple. Noticed I did not do this one, okay? Just so you know. All right, and last but not least, shoulder. What am I always saying? I said this yesterday. I might have to get down so you can see me. Is um, eyes up, pump arms, quick feet. We runners sometimes forget about our pumping arms, right? It's like we got to use that upper body in addition to the legs. The legs are doing so much work. So just the simple arm rot or shoulder rotations, okay? So I'll do 15 seconds forward. 15 seconds back, I'm, I'm kneeling. You could do it kneeling, but I usually do the standing up, but I wanna make sure you can see me. Okay, backward and then across, all right? For 30 seconds, 30 seconds across. So 15, 15 forward, 15 back, all right? And then 30 across, and then I'll just kind of top it off, just a little top off, boom, just arm motion, arm motion, arm motion, arm motion. Pump arms, pump arms, pump arms, pump arms, pump arms. There you go. Did we get five minutes? I think we did it almost at five minutes. That's my five minute warm up. And then I'm out the door and I'm done. And I, it's like, you're so busy. You're, you're working hard. You're raising families. You're going to school. You know, you might not even have time for five minutes. I'm not even kidding. All right. So if you need to cut it down to three to four minutes and just do uh, 20 seconds for each movement, that's fine too. Okay. Sound good? And again, I'll do this again in the summertime when it's warmer out and I'll be, for example, okay, I can't resist. I'll just show you right now is uh, this one, just across. I just love doing that one, but you know, it's a little hard inside. I guess you could get a little bit in here, but um, I'll do that one across the soccer field as well. All right, here we go. Stop in the stopwatch. Uh, comment of the day goes to Jonas Thomas uh, and rucks. I'm sorry. Bottom line, this is just beautiful. This is why this YouTube channel exists right here. As a new long distance runner, welcome to the long distance running world. You're going to love it here. I want to thank you for the inspiration and motivation. I'm a veteran in the Danish army and, and quit uh, because I've become a dad. I think he says quit running. Uh, now I found a new challenge in long distance running. Thank you. Oh, oh, I no, I think I read that wrong. I'm sorry. I'm a veteran in the Danish army uh, and, and have quit because I've become a dad. So he has, I think he's no longer in the army. Now he's found a new challenge in long distance running. Thank you. You are welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. And that is today's vlog. Uh, I'm going out for a 23 mile run. All right, check it out. If I complete it on Strava, it's supposed to be icy and snowy outside. So head over to Strava. Let's connect there and You'll see how I did. Nothing crazy fast, all right? That'll be on Sunday. Uh, just nice and steady, just cranking it out, getting that volume in, all right? Warming up, here we go. We will toss it to, um, you know, we'll toss it to the, hmm, we'll go, you know, we'll go prehab. 
we'll go prehab vlog. In case you haven't seen that, injury prevention right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.